Hi, Stefan Svartling here. Google has finally released a Google Plus app for the iPad. The app is universal and now has full iPad support. I don't know why it has taken so long, but probably because Google hasn't released a tablet version of Google Plus for Android. So they have waiting for that before releasing it for the iPad. It's long overdue, but it's finally here. And it's even have uh, Retina support for the new iPad. And the app feels much better even on uh, the iPhone now. The text is more readable and the uh, uh, notification page looks much nicer. And when linking to a user it's uh, much nicer looking when you find the right person with the avatar and all. And the app feels uh, faster and more fluid when you scrolling and so on. But apparently the comment space is too small. Uh, when you open a post on the iPad version that is. Comments expand to the top of the screen when you press them but only take up a one third of the middle of the screen. When you press the type in a response the entry field covers all the comments which makes it hard to refer to one that you might be responding to, says Randy Weeks on my post. Matti Riendal says that uh, one feature is missing on the iPad version and that's events. Events is on the iPhone but not on the iPad and that's very strange. And on both the iPad and iPhone version you can still not edit comments. I don't get it. Why doesn't Google add that feature? It's so strange. We need to be able to edit comments. And I think all these uh, annoying things is because Google is not using standard iOS UI elements when doing the app. And Tom Towles has uh, problems when connecting a Bluetooth keyboard to his iPad when typing. He can see the text when typing. And I think it's, it's the same there. I think it's um, Google not using standard iOS UI elements. But overall, uh, the app is much better now. Of course, it's much better on, better on the iPad because it's the first version for the iPad, the real iPad version, and it looks great. And it's even better on the iPhone. I like that. Really smooth and uh, the text is more readable now and so on. Uh, much better. But still no features. One of the only apps I use on my iPhone that doesn't have these features I need. For example, send to Insta Paper, send to Pocket send to Evernote and so on. It still hasn't a, an option to send links to Chrome instead of Safari. The only feature available is open link in Safari. And I don't get it. Why doesn't Google add the standard features from the best iOS apps? I mean send to Instapaper, how hard can it be? And adding that feature or open link in Chrome, how hard can it be? Google has an opportunity here to build a Google experience on iOS devices by combining all their apps into one by linking to them. Google Drive, Chrome, Google Plus and so on. So why not add a link to opening Chrome? I don't get it. But as I said, overall this app is much much better. I like it.